This is very handsome and very heavy. Good ballast. Although I hope that's not <laughs> although I hope that's not needed anymore. My involvement with the X Prize goes back some eight years. I was complaining to a friend of mine who was at NASA <coughs> in plans and policies that I was tired of hearing people talk about what was going to happen in space a hundred years from now, seventy-five years, even fifty years was too long. And I wanted to know what was happening, who was, who was doing something that could have some impact in the near term. And he said, uh, I know someone you should meet. And that was Pier Peter Diamandis. And Peter had a vision, a really wonderful, simple notion, which was announce a competition and they will come. The X Prize Foundation really started as a result of a gift a gift of a book from Greg Maranac to Peter, The Spirit of St. Louis. And in reading that book, Peter realized fully what the influence of the competition that spurred Lindbergh's flight and others' attempts to cross the Atlantic, what effect that had on passenger air travel and how it really changed the whole paradigm rather rapidly. And so back in 96, when the only people that thought it were possible were us and a few others, most of whom I guess are in this room, uh, still tonight, we announced the competition. And uh, the foundation has really been about persistence of vision. How to survive through eight years, how to stimulate uh, people wanting to play a part in this, and most importantly to the foundation, is how to transform the public's view of space and space travel. Too often, you go to conferences or events that are wrapped around space and you see they're the same players. They're the inside players. And what we wanted to do was literally transform how people think about space and space travel. And so we announced this competition. And I would like to accept this award uh, on behalf of the founders, on behalf of Peter Diamandis and Greg Maranac and Byron Lichtenberg and others, on behalf of the New Spirit of St. Louis organization, a group of businessmen in St. Louis, how like their predecessors some years before had the foresight and the resources to start us up in St. Louis. And most importantly, I'd like to accept it on behalf of all the competitors that made the X Prize interesting and possible, some of whom are in this room tonight. I'd like to ask all of the guys that were part of the competition, Bert, Chuck, John, if you're here, please stand. These guys all had the guts and the courage to put themselves, their visions, their dreams, their resources on the line to make this happen. And it did fulminate over the past eight years in ways that we had never expected. In fact, we had hoped once the X Prize had won, there would be a period of some years perhaps, but that the spark would catch and there would be a commercial application that would ultimately result uh, from all this. And to be able now to actually see it come to pass, not years away, but actually during the competition. I'll tell you, it was so exciting to see on the uh, tail of the fuselage where it said Virgin. For me, that was like, you know, in 2001 where you see the Hilton and Pan Am is flying and you got the reality. This is where it fully came home that this is really, really happening. Um, I'd like to take a moment to show you, uh, actually this is the opening of the telecast and webcast that we did of the second X Prize flight, we call X2. And what we were trying to do is, can you hold the roll just for a second? Thank you. And then when we do it with sound, it's a talkie. Um, <laughs> what we were really trying to do in this telecast and webcast is bring this to people in a way so that they can appreciate the events in context, appreciate the historical importance of what's happening. And I'd just like to show you this two minute clip of how X2 opened up in people's homes on their computer and on television. Sam? Louder, please.
incredible day. For the last eight years, a group of visionary pioneers have set their sights on the Ansari X Prize, the new race of space. The challenge, fly a privately financed station capable of carrying three people into space to an altitude of 100 kilometers, and do it again within two weeks. The first team to do it wins $10 million. 26 teams from seven countries are in pursuit of the Ansari X Prize each with the guts and imagination to compete. Only one will win. Last week, Bert Rattan's Mojave Aerospace Ventures team leapt into the lead with a record-breaking flight to 338,000 feet, higher than any private craft has ever flown. And so this is how the adventure unfolded. Thank you. Uh, just by a show of hands, so I don't bore anyone, has anyone gone to AOL to see their video interactive page about the flight? Uh, very few hands, so I'll mention it. Um, Part of what we were trying to accomplish is make this accessible to people and accessible on a basis that lasts far longer than the day of the event. And um, those ripples can be seen in replays of the telecast of X2 that will be on the Science Channel, um, which is in 37 million homes, although I doubt all of them have ever watched it all at the same time. Um, perhaps we'll set some new numbers with this show. With the excellent uh, discovery shows that have been on, uh, the two hours on the sequence of events leading up to June 21 and this last hour that was just on about the X Prize flights are really incredible. And also on AOL, and we'll go to that quad split next if you have it, there is an interactive experience, slightly less interactive if you own a Mac, I'm sorry, hard, so, <laughs> sorry to say, we'll try and fix that. But I just wanted to show you a few seconds of what's available um, to someone. Okay, I don't want yellow. I don't want the fact that a, anybody, a school child, can go on their computer and participate in the flight in this way, and they actually have the ability to call up different camera angles, um, really brings this home, really sets a vision in a way far beyond what we had originally hoped for. That's interesting. Sam, is there some rebooting or something? It's on a Mac. <laughs> I don't know. Do you want to reset that, Sam? Sam, why don't you reset that? I don't know. For me, and I'll and I'll I'll, uh, I'll get off in a second. You know, my heroes growing up were people like Werner von Braun, Walt Disney, Ward Kimball. And these were guys that had something else in common besides their first name started with W. Um, these were guys who set a vision in the 50s and 60s about where we could go in space. Uh, these were the guys that created entertainment that was mass accessible, that said we, we could go, we would be the next to go. As we all know, that vision, that dream, uh, took a big detour. And we at the foundation are really proud of the fact that we get to, through the competition, uh, bring this vision out again, reset it, so that people can fully understand what's happening here. Our goal was to transform how people think, and I just picked one of many headlines that really reflects this point. This is the Daily News. On behalf of everybody at the Foundation, thank you.